So I'm going to show the differences in the cut quality on the different blades. There's a lot of videos on YouTube showing these dry cut saws, cutting steel, uh, nice clean cuts, no burrs, and cool to the touch. You know, the, the old friction saws, everybody, everybody's everybody got one. Anybody that works with steel has got one of these things and they know that they're dusty, sparks all over the place. And I've got a new garage that's got this white steel uh, siding all on the inside and I don't want the dust, the sparks, the black spot on the wall. And so I started researching these dry cut saws and I went with the Evolution tools. So I'm going to cover the differences between the two, the steel blade and the aluminum blade regarding cutting aluminum. Because the question everybody has, can you just leave the steel blade in there and cut aluminum? And the answer is yes. Is there a difference in the cut quality when you're cutting aluminum with the two different blades? Yes, there is a difference between those blades. This saw blade has 80 teeth and the steel saw blade that comes with the tool when you buy it is 66 teeth. But not only is the number of teeth different, but the way that the carbide is ground on the steel blade is different. So we've got some typical aluminum angle iron. We've got these hobbyist extrusions. So this is maker beam and this is micro racks and then we've got aluminum flat stock. Okay, let's take a look at the aluminum blade cutting an aluminum angle iron. Nice cut. And that aluminum blade goes through that stuff so nicely. The steel blade seemed to be a little less aggressive. You can see it rolling the metal underneath, just underneath there. You can see that rolling out. Doesn't nicely chip it out the way that the uh, aluminum blade just chips everything out really nice. Um, I had to be careful about the aggressiveness of the aluminum blade. I had to really take my time. Um, I could have probably pushed it harder, but I didn't. It's a nice blade. That aluminum blade is a nice blade. And the, the steel blade takes a little more pressure. So I just let it do its thing and uh, just let it cut through that. And it, you know, it cuts through it without any big issues. And I'll show you the finish on those cuts in great detail. bottom plate was cut with the aluminum blade this top one was cut with the steel blade and you can see a little more gouging here the aluminum blade is doing a better job I'm gonna rock the straight edge on there so you can see it's that's a really good cut you can see there's more gaps and there is a difference in the final cut Okay, let's try out the aluminum blade on those delicate little extrusions that I have. And uh, here's the aluminum blade through the micro racks. It, it does such a nice job on this really delicate, fine detailed cross sections on these extrusions. And the uh, steel blade does okay. You can see it rolling, you can see it burning, but it does okay. This is the steel blade. You can see more burring, and you can see it when I was cutting too, that it had more burring. And this is the aluminum blade. The, the finish is nicer, the burring is minimal. Okay, so what's this? Alright, let's just take the friction cut saw and run that through some 8020. Because the 8020 extrusion is actually a really common industrial extrusion. I, I've got some of it in my shop. Oh, it's a mess. It's bad. You wouldn't even use this tool to do that. Alright, let's clean it up. This is the steel blade running through an 8020 extrusion. It does a nice job. It's it's not bad at all. I think it's it's usable right out of the uh, right out of the saw. Um, 
I don't think you need to, to sand that off anymore. Um, nice and cool. Didn't heat it up much. And here's the aluminum blade. The aluminum blade does do a nicer job. I mean, practically no burring. Just really does a nice job on this stuff. I'm happy I have that aluminum blade. Evolution Tools sent me that blade to do this video. So I thought, okay, I've got my Milwaukee portable bandsaw. Let's try that. Let's go at the 8020 and uh, run that through this and see what happens. And of course, accuracy is going to be bad because you're kind of eyeball, you know, I'm eyeballing things and. Here is the piece that I cut off with the Milwaukee portable bandsaw and that is not the finest bandsaw blade they make for it. You can see you're going to have to do a little bit of sanding to get that to get that cleaned up. The other side is the side cut with the dry cut saw. It's smooth. There's really there's really no need to sand this. There's no burring. Um, and it's smooth.